it is a yucky rainy morning this morning but we are here getting our azure pickup the truck is right there with um, it's been a couple of months since I've gotten an Azure order. We had some financial things come up the last couple of months, which took away a good bit of my bulk buying budget. But this month we placed a pretty big order. And so I am here to pick that up. It's kind of yucky and rainy. So it's um, a different experience than what I'm used to. We've got, I can see like some tarps out there and some things like that. So I'm gonna run, pick these things up. I've got some helpers here with me today and um, we are gonna, yeah, another helper. <laughs> and we are gonna um, get it back home and then I'll show you what we got. Today, I, it was a yucky rainy day, but we made it out to grab our Azure standard order. I got a pretty big haul this month, so I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. And I'm also gonna update you on how I'm liking some of the things that I've gotten in previous months. So let's get started. The first thing I got is this huge, humongous 15 bag, 15 pound bag of chicken wheat so this is what we're gonna feed our chickens we have nine chickens um, and what we've been told is that prices at like tractor supply and things like that are just gonna keep going up and up and up as far as animal feed goes so we went ahead and stocked up on that this 50 pound bag will last us probably two months hopefully we'll see um, and then the next thing we got is long grain organic brown rice. I bought a small container of that a few months ago just to see if I was gonna like it. We loved it, it was super good quality. We didn't have any bugs in it, any problems like that. So we um, grabbed a big bag of that. I think this is 25 pounds. So we will be stocked up on that. We're gonna store that in like a five gallon bucket with a gamma seal lid and keep that fresh um so that's usually how i store like my big bags of food like that i store them in a five gallon bucket with a gamma seal lid for like 25 pounds or 50 pounds and then i take it out i take some out and put it in a smaller container and i store that in my pantry and use that day to day and then um the next thing i got is a big let's see it's one pound of chili powder and we go through the chili powder in the fall and the winter months because we love some chili. We really eat it year round. Um, so I went ahead and stocked up on chili, chili powder because I knew that we would use a lot of it coming soon. And then the next thing I got are these oxygen absorbers. Now these are really cool and I've just kind of learned about these recently. Um, what you can do with these is put them in the gamma seal buckets or whatever you're storing your food in, whether it be um, glass jars or plastic containers, you can put one of these oxygen absorbers on the top and it will actually um, help keep bugs out because bugs can't live where there's no oxygen. So this absorbs the oxygen and then any bugs that do come um, will not be able to survive inside that bucket. So you can also get silica packets and from what I have researched and I've also bought some of those the silica packets are good for like sugar and salt and things that tend to clump up because the silica packets absorb moisture. So oxygen absorbers absorb oxygen and then silica packets absorb moisture. So that's something that took me a really long time to research that. There's like no videos <laughs> explaining that. So that's what I have found. And so hopefully that helps you out a little bit. And then I'll come back to the non-food items in a minute. But the next big thing I got was some whole wheat spaghetti noodles. We go through the spaghetti around here. So I went ahead and picked up a big thing of this. This will last us quite a while. And if I like it, I may order even more next time. The next thing we got are some raw walnuts. And I purchased these in a two pound bag this time. I also get them from Aldi, but um, 
this was a really good deal and I thought I would go ahead and just store these in the freezer for now because um, I do already have some from um, Aldi. So we'll see how these taste. I'll keep you posted. The next thing, this was recommended by someone else on YouTube and I can't remember who it was, but they buy these. This is the 13 bean mix and it's a five pound bag. And this is supposedly good to just throw in any kind of like soups. And um, so that's what I'm gonna plan to do when I start making all my soups in the fall is just take a scoop of these and throw it in there with them. And I think it'll be good. They're just like a mix of a whole bunch of different beans. So I think it'll be good. We'll give it a try. The next thing I normally purchase from Costco, but this is actually a little bit better price is the Himalayan pink salt. I got a five pound bag of that. And we use this just like table salt. We use it for everything. It's just a better quality salt than table salt. So it's a lot healthier for you. The next thing we got our son is some cornmeal. I got the five pound bag of that. I love to make cornmeal, especially with like our chili and our soups in the fall and the winter. Um, and I use it for a couple of other just random different recipes too. So I like to have this on hand. So I got this and I'll let you guys know how we like that too. The next thing I got are these two buckets. They also, I also have the gamma seal lids that go on these. These are two gallon buckets. So these will be great to store things that come in like 10, 20 pounds. Um, I think that they will fit nicely in these little buckets. So, um, so I had the gamma lids also go onto those, but I bought those the month before, well, a couple months back. So those are downstairs, but they, they look just like the regular gamma seal. They're just a little bit smaller. Okay, the other thing I got are these jars. These are five gallon, no, these are one gallon jars. And keep in mind, they don't come with lids. So you have to buy those separately. So I just purchased four of these lids. And my hope is that a lot of these things that I bought in the five pounds will fit in here. Like I'm hoping um, the cornmeal and the salt and things like that will fit in here. I also bought some tall mason jars that are 12 quart and wide mouth um, to put anything else that I might need to put in those. Um, I was thinking like maybe the chili powder that I bought. Um, we'll just see. It, it's hard to know what's going to fit in what container just by like looking at things. So you really sometimes you just have to do it by trial and error and see how it goes. So um, the last thing I want to show y'all is the non-food items. Okay, I just got a few fun non-food items that I really like. These I have bought before and I really love them. I will say they burn down pretty quickly, but I know that there's no yucky things in them. They're just pure beeswax and they're unscented, so I feel good about burning those in our house. Um, so I just get these and then I'll put them like in my little candle holders. And these are from Amazon. I'll try to link these below because I really love them. They're really cute. I have several of those around my house. I also have ones that I've thrifted. I'll show you those. Some of the ones that I've thrifted that it's just really cute. It's like scalloped on the edge, but you can find these at thrift stores a lot. They're getting harder to find because I feel like people are catching on to how great these are and they're wanting them, but yeah, how cute. The other thing that I got is this face wash. It had really, really good reviews on Azure's website and I have been looking for a little bit um, cleaner face wash. So if I don't like this, I'll probably let my husband try it and see if he likes it. He's not real picky about his face wash, um, but it is the Desert Essence Thoroughly Clean Face Wash and I think it's unscented. It's got tea tree oil in it. It's probably not unscented, but it's uh, scented with essential oils because if it's got tea tree oil, oil in it, it's probably scented. But it's supposed to be really great. We'll give it a shot and I'll let you know how that goes. I will update you guys on the deodorant that I bought a couple of months ago from Azure. Um, it's the one with the green lid. I can't think of the name of it. I do love that. I've been using that ever since I got it and it's worked great. Um, you do have to reapply. I find if, you're, if it's like a really sweaty day, you will need to reapply like midday but otherwise it's really great. And for the price, you really just can't beat it. Okay, a few other like medicinal things that I bought this time. I've never bought anything like this from Azure, so I'm curious to see how, the, um, what the quality is gonna be of it. But the first thing I got is some zinc, 50 milligrams. And this is supposed to be great for anyone that has eczema. And I have one child, um, that suffers from pretty bad eczema um, just seasonally. And so I'm gonna start trying to put a little bit of this like in his water, and let him drink it, and just see if that makes a difference like with his eczema. And it's also really good to have on hand during cold season too, because it really helps your immune system. The next two things are elderberry. This is the um, dropper kind. Um, we I give the tablets to the kids in the winter months. Um, and I use Mary Ruth's for that, but I thought um, 
having the liquid on hand might be better because supposedly liquid absorbs in your body a little bit better than like pills. So we're gonna try this. This is the Quantum Health Elderberry Immune Dispense Syrup. So I'm just, I'm going ahead and stocking up for cold and flu season because I don't know if these are gonna be hard to come by in the fall. So that's why I went ahead and got it to stock up on. And the same with the Echinacea. I think that's how you say this. Um, this is supposed to be really good for fighting colds and like coughs and things like that. So I went ahead and got this to have on hand. Um, I recently bought the book and I'll link it here, Be Your Child's Pediatrician. And it is written by, I think a midwife. And she just talks about how um, you can really avoid a lot of your doctor trips just by learning some things at home to kind of help your children when they get sick or um, you know when they have a rash or whatever and um, so I've been slowly stocking up on some of the things that are on her list of things that you should have on hand um, and I am going to try this fall and winter to do a little bit more um, natural remedies for when they get sick I'm, I'm still I'm not, not against going to the doctor when I feel like they need to or you know we use antibiotics when I feel like they need it but I like to treat at home as much as possible. So I'll keep y'all posted on how, how all these like remedies, um, how they work this fall. So <laughs> we'll see, I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, and I did promise you guys I would update you on how I have liked all of the products we've bought so far. And I have to say, there hasn't been one thing that we have had a problem with. We haven't had bugs, we haven't had anything taste funny or bad or, I mean, if anything, everything just tastes way better than what we buy in the store. I just feel like it's like fresher or just healthier or, you know, I don't know. But we have loved every single thing and I literally don't have a complaint on anything. Um, we really love the dish soap that I bought. Y'all know I bought that huge bucket of dish soap. We've been using it for dishes and hand soap and all of the things and it has been wonderful. My Alexa keeps going off. And it has been wonderful, we love that. Um, I bought a bunch of baking soda, the washing soda, all of that has been awesome. The oats, I bought a big, I think I bought a 50 pound bag of the oats, it might have been 25 pounds. But we are still using that and enjoying that. I use that daily and we love the oats. That's probably the best tasting I've ever bought. So we have been very, very pleased. The only negative I would say is sometimes things are out of stock and we can't get them. But I mean, such is life in this time and age that we live in. And we just have to give people grace and realize they're working just as hard as they can. And it's not their fault. It's just the way things are right now. So um, I have had really good luck if I can't find something at Azure, being able to find it somewhere else. Like, I really wanted a 25 pound bag of baking soda this month. They did not have that in stock. Um, so, I ended up getting like three 13 pound bags um, from Costco. So, it's not like organic, it's just the arm and hammer kind, but all I use it for is just the, for our detergent anyway. So, it doesn't really matter um, that it's not organic or that it, how it tastes because we're just using it for laundry detergent. So, that's it guys, that's all I have for you. That is my little Azure haul. I think it was like $250 for all of this stuff, which I feel like is a great buy, especially for this humongous bag of chicken feed. So I hope that gave you some good ideas. I know it always helps to see other people's hauls of what they buy. It always gives me good ideas, like that 13 bean bean mix. Uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't have thought about getting that um, had it not been for someone else on here that recommended that. So. Anyways, that's our haul and thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up before you go. And if you enjoy Azure content, grocery hauls, motherhood, homeschooling, homemaking, then be sure to subscribe before you leave. Thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you next time.